Uh, Madam Secretary, if I could ask you about Syria. Uh, Mr. Brahimi's attempt at a ceasefire has evidently failed and the violence is increasing again. What are your views on what needs to be done now to bring the violence down? And turning to next week's opposition conference in Doha, what gives you confidence, if you have any at all, that this could produce the beginnings of a government in waiting where the SNC has failed to do that? And are you sure that your key allies, including Turkey, are ready to swing behind whatever is the outcome of Doha? Thank you. Well, Andy, those are all very important and timely questions. And, and I want to start by thanking Croatia for uh, their assistance in dealing with the extremely uh, difficult problems presented by both Syria and Iran. Um, look, I, I sincerely regret, but I unfortunately was not surprised by the failure of the latest ceasefire attempt. Uh, despite its reported commitment to the UN Special Envoy, Mr. Brahimi, uh, the Assad regime did not suspend uh, its use of advanced weaponry against the Syrian people for even one day. Um, and the shelling in the suburbs of Damascus was as bad last weekend as at any time in the conflict. So while we urge Special Envoy Brahimi to do whatever he can in Moscow and Beijing uh, to convince them to change course and support a stronger UN action. We cannot and will not wait for that. Um, instead, our efforts and those of our partners uh, in the EU and the Arab League are focused on pressuring the regime through increasing and tightening sanctions uh, meeting the humanitarian needs of the Syrian people who are displaced, uh, assisting those countries that they seek refuge in, uh, and helping the opposition unite behind a shared effective strategy uh, that can uh, resist the regime's violence uh, and begin to provide for a political transition uh, that can demonstrate uh, more clearly than has been possible up until now, uh, what the future holds for the Syrian people uh, once the Assad regime is gone. Uh, so we are working uh, very hard with uh, many different elements from the opposition, yes, inside Syria as well as outside Syria. Some of you might remember I hosted a meeting in uh, New York during the UN General Assembly uh, we facilitated the smuggling out of a few representatives of the Syrian internal opposition uh, in order for them to uh, explain to the uh, countries gathered why they must be at the table. This cannot be an opposition represented by people who have many uh, good attributes but have in many instances not been inside Syria for 20, 30, or 40 years. Uh, there has to be a representation of those who are on the front lines fighting and dying today uh, to obtain uh, their freedom. And there needs to be an opposition leadership structure that is dedicated to representing and protecting all Syrians. It is not uh, a, a secret that many inside Syria are worried about what comes next. They have no love lost for the Assad regime, but they worry, rightly so, about uh, the future. And so there needs to be an opposition that can speak to every segment and every uh, geographic uh, part of uh, Syria. And we also need an opposition that will be on record strongly resisting uh, the efforts by extremists to hijack uh, the Syrian revolution. Uh, there are disturbing reports of extremists going into Syria uh, and attempting to uh, take over what has been a legitimate revolution against an oppressive regime for their own purposes. Uh, so the Arab League sponsored uh, meetings uh, starting in Doha next week will be an important next step. I have been uh, constantly involved with my counterparts, both in the EU and uh, in the Arab League, in particular uh, with the hosts of the meeting next week uh, in Qatar. Uh, we have uh, uh, 
uh, recommended names and organizations that we believe should be uh, included in any leadership structure. We've made it clear that uh, the SNC can no longer be uh, viewed as the uh, visible uh, leader of the opposition. They can be part of a larger opposition, but that opposition must include people from inside Syria and others who have a legitimate voice that needs to be heard. Uh, so our, our efforts are very focused on that right now. Thank you. This concludes the statements for the press. Thank you.